Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to estimate siding for a gable end. Okay, so a gable end is that part of the roof. So here's my regular siding goes up here and then I want to finish siding all the way up to the peak. So how much siding goes in this section? Okay, so what we need to figure this out is what half of that distance is. So the span is 30 feet, our total run would be half of that, so it would be 15 feet, okay? And then we need to, the height of it. In this case, I gave it a height of 8, eight, eight feet. So we're going to end up putting rows of siding in here, all right? So we start out with a triangle. Now you can go and figure it out for a triangle, but what works is if you take and you divide this in half, and then you take this part and you flip it over to there. Now you have a rectangle. Okay, so it's 15 feet by 8 feet. Because these, these two pieces will make one rectangle. Okay, so if you watch my previous video on estimating siding, there's two ways to do it. You can do the area method or you can do the row method. So the row method would be taking 8 feet, multiplying times 12 inches, give you 96 inches. And then you take that and divide by the exposure of the sheet that you're, how much exposure are you going to have on your, if you're using lap siding. So let's say the exposure is 7 inches. So I'm going to take... 96 divided by 7, and that gives me 13.71, or rounded it up, 14 rows, okay? So I need 14 rows, and each row is going to be 15 feet. So I take 14 rows times 15 feet, 14 times 15 gives me... 210 linear feet of siding that I need. Um, then I'm going to take 210, and if I buy like smart side that comes in 16 foot pieces, I'm going to take 210 divided by 16, and I would get 13.1 sheets or pieces. Okay, so if you want a little extra, you can round it up. You can round it up to say 14 pieces. So it take 14 pieces of siding to do this gable end. Okay, so not too not too difficult. 